the grand tapestry of existence, every soul embarks on a quest, a profound journey to discover that singular purpose that ignites the fire within. As Seneca once said, not how long, but how well you have lived, is the main thing. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where today we delve deep into the essence of our being, exploring the theme, finding something to live and die for. Have you ever found yourself amidst the hustle of life, pausing to observe the world around you? You see smiles, hear laughter, and witness the seemingly effortless joy in others. In these moments, a thought might whisper in your mind, why do they seem so content? Why does happiness elude me, wrapping me instead in a shroud of shadows and despair? But here's a truth. Beneath the surface we are all warriors battling our own silent storms. Every heart has known the sharp sting of loss, the weight of sorrow, the tremble of fear, and the ache of longing. There will be moments in life when fate knocks us down, but whether we stand up, move forward, pick up our weapons and continue to fight, or just lie there waiting to die, wallowing in self-pity, is a choice we make. And to stand up to pick up the divine sword and continue the battle, we must always remember deep in our minds and souls the reason we don't give up, the reason we continue to live, no matter how bad life gets. That reason must be something we are willing to die for it with a stoic heart. Embark on this journey with us in today's episode of Stoic in Your Life as we unravel the enigma of our existence and seek that which gives our life its truest meaning and purpose. What was I born to do in this world? In the intricate tapestry of existence, one question often lingers in the quiet corners of our minds. What was I born to do in this world? This inquiry, akin to wandering in an immense library without perusing a single book, as Dan Brown eloquently puts it, beckons us to seek the essence of our being. The quest for purpose is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a journey that defines the very core of our existence. It's a journey that echoes the Stoic belief, as Marcus Aurelius once said, he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Many of us grapple with this profound question, pondering whether our birthright is to contribute to life, savor its myriad experiences, or unearth a personal mission that resonates with our deepest self. Yet the answers seem as elusive as the whispers of the wind. Where are those who have unraveled this enigma? Do they walk among us or have they transcended this mortal coil? What paths have they trodden? What joys and fears have sculpted their journey? And what wisdom have they gleaned in their quest for meaning? The uncertainty of our purpose can be a labyrinthine quandary a riddle that dances at the edges of our consciousness. It's not that we are indifferent to the question, rather, its weight can sometimes be a silent companion, a shadow that follows us even when the sun is at its zenith. The thought of embarking on this quest can be daunting, yet the call to explore, to seek even a glimmer of understanding, is a siren song that cannot be ignored. And so I turn to you, fellow traveler on this journey of life, have you too felt the stirrings of these questions within your soul? Have you pondered the grand tapestry of existence and your thread within it? Is our presence a mere happenstance? Or is it woven by the intricate designs of fate? What truly is the essence of our existence? Perhaps the answer lies in the simple yet profound acts of living. To observe, to love, to strive with noble purpose, and to endure with grace. The stories of those who have transcended the ordinary, who have pushed beyond the boundaries of the conceivable, ignite a fire within us. They serve as beacons, illuminating the path to a life of meaning and purpose. The steadfast resolve of Socrates, who embraced death over forsaking his philosophical ideals. The fervent passion of Vincent van Gogh, who painted not for acclaim or wealth but for the sheer act of creation. The indomitable spirit of Roger Bannister, who shattered the limits of human potential by running a mile in under four minutes. These are the narratives that compel us to look within and ask, what can I contribute? What legacy can I forge in the fleeting moments I am granted? 
In this reflection, we find that the value of life is not measured by the accolades we receive or the wealth we accumulate, but by the depth of our impact, the sincerity of our connections, and the courage with which we embrace our journey. It is in the pursuit of these truths that we begin to unravel the tapestry of our purpose, thread by delicate thread, guided by the wisdom of those who have walked this path before us, and inspired by the infinite potential that lies within each of us. As we embark on this journey, let us remember the words of the Stoics. It is not what happens to us, but how we respond to what happens that defines our life. Let this be our guiding star, as we seek to find, in the words of the Stoics, something to live and die for. What is the meaning of human existence? In the vast tapestry of human existence, our lives are often compared to solitary boats navigating the boundless ocean of time. Picture a boat, its purpose seemingly straightforward, to journey towards a destination. Yet, what becomes of a boat that sails without knowing its harbor? It mirrors a life adrift, aimlessly succumbing to the whims of the currents, battered by relentless waves, and ultimately facing a tragic demise lost in the abyss, its purpose unfulfilled. It's said that every vessel yearns for the solace of a dock after a weary voyage, a brief respite before embarking anew, or perhaps the finality of its ultimate destination. Similarly, our lives crave a shore, a beacon of meaning whether it's a luciosis or desolate wasteland. This shore bestows upon our existence a profound purpose, guiding our actions and endeavors fueling our drive to forgo a heed. Imagine a life confined within four walls devoid of direction or purpose where days meld into a monotonous blur. We exist, fulfilling basic needs, yet devoid of engagement, untouched by the world's vibrancy. Outside life pulses with vigor, individuals toiling under the sun, each driven by a unique purpose, be it family, honor, or love. Their days are a mosaic of experiences, exhaustion from labor, joy in simple pleasures, the satisfaction of overcoming debts, the warmth of returning home after prolonged absence, and even the rawness of pain and despair. Their lives are dynamic, each day distinct, each moment a testament to their living narrative. And then, there's us stagnant, our days indistinguishable, our emotions muted. Is this existence, this repetitive cycle, truly life? How long can one endure such emptiness? Is this the essence of living? Consider this. Can a life devoid of passion, devoid of a burning zeal for something, anything, truly be called living? What ignites joy in your heart? What stirs fear in your soul? Let's draw from the allegory of the Greek myth of Sisyphus condemned to roll a boulder up a hill only for it to roll back down each time he nears the top, Albert Camus, in his Existential Musings, suggests that one must imagine Sisyphus happy, finding contentment in his eternal toil. The lesson here is profound. It's not the achievement of the goal, but the journey, the struggle, the purpose, that gives life its meaning. In conclusion, the essence of life is not merely in existing, but in living with purpose with a direction that gives our actions meaning. It's about finding that shore, that harbor that anchors our existence. It's about embracing the journey with its highs and lows, its triumphs and tribulations. As we navigate through life's vast ocean, let us seek our harbor, let us find our purpose, and in doing so, truly live. Let this be the guiding principle for our audience a beacon to illuminate their path in the quest for a life of meaning and fulfillment. What do you want to pursue and what do you want to escape from? In this journey we call life, each of us is on a unique quest, a personal odyssey that's shaped by our deepest desires and aspirations. It's like we're all authors, penning the chapters of our own epic tales. Some of us are driven by the allure of fame and fortune, crafting our stories with the ink of ambition. Others seek the warmth of love and the joy of happiness, painting their pages with the vibrant colors of heartfelt emotions. Then there are those who thirst for knowledge, their narratives woven with the threads of wisdom and enlightenment. And amidst this tapestry of human endeavors, there are souls who ponder the profound mysteries of existence, 
questioning the very essence of life and our purpose within it. But have you ever wondered about those who choose a different path, those who seek not to acquire, but to let go, to free themselves from the relentless pursuit of more? Imagine yourself at the crossroads of life at the tender age of twenty, with the vast horizon of the next fifty years stretching out before you. It's a moment of reflection, a time to ask yourself, what masterpiece do I want to create with the canvas of my life? You see, life isn't about following a pre-drawn map or adhering to a script written by someone else. It's an open field, a blank page waiting for your unique imprint. You have this burning desire within you, a noble aspiration to be a beacon of joy and happiness in this world. You envision a life where every encounter is a gift, where your presence brings a smile to every face and your touch turns moments into cherished memories. But how do you embark on this noble quest? The path to creating such a profound impact isn't laid out in clear steps or easy formulas. It's a journey of a thousand miles that begins with a single step, fueled by sincerity and a heart full of purpose. Your goal, your dream, is a precious gem, unique to you and you alone. It's the guiding star that lights up your path, driving your actions and efforts, shaping your decisions and your destiny. As you stand at this crossroads pondering the next half century of your existence, consider the wisdom of the Stoics. They taught us that the less you want, the more you have. It's a profound reminder that true abundance isn't about accumulating wealth, fame, or possessions. It's about cultivating contentment, embracing simplicity, and finding richness in the intangible treasures of life, love, joy, peace, and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, a sage of Stoicism, once said, Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself in your way of thinking. It's a call to look inward to realize that the fountain of happiness springs from within, not from the external world. So as you contemplate the canvas of your life, think about the legacy you wish to leave behind. Envision a life where every interaction is an opportunity to spread happiness, where your very existence is a testament to the joy of simplicity and the richness of a contented heart. Remember, the path to true fulfillment isn't about chasing after fleeting pleasures or external validations. It's about nurturing your inner world, aligning your actions with your deepest values, and touching the lives of others in meaningful, lasting ways. In this grand adventure of life, you are both the traveler and the map maker. The choices you make, the paths you choose, and the values you uphold will shape the story of your life. So choose wisely, live passionately, and let your journey be a beacon of light guiding others toward a life of abundance, joy, and profound fulfillment. What is it that you are willing to die for? If a person has not yet discovered something they are willing to die for, they have not truly lived, James Grant Hector. The universe is a soul divided into many fragments. Each fragment corresponds to a star, representing an individual human soul on Earth. Those who fulfill their life's mission upon completing their journey, return to their own star, while others remain on Earth, reincarnating time and again until they find their purpose in life and fulfill their mission. Each person has a different mission, just as the millions of stars in the sky each shine a different light, but all share one thing in common. Each star must shine in its own way. Likewise, every person must become who they truly desire to be. Douglas MacArthur became a distinguished general. Ernest Hemingway, from a competitive boy who refused to lose, became a literary genius. Mahatma Gandhi became the saint of the Indian people. Douglas MacArthur, Ernest Hemingway, Mahatma Gandhi, and many other talented individuals all found their purpose in life and completed their mission. They, three successful people in three different fields, all share one characteristic. They were ready to die for something they discovered on their journey to find the joy of a victor, the journey to complete their life's mission, so that after death, they would return to the star that gave birth to them in glory. All of them began their lives with a cry, 
progressed through life with a determination to find the joy of a victor, and ended their lives by exhaling their last breath after reaping enough achievements, after attaining the joy of a victor. So what were Douglas MacArthur, Ernest Hemingway, Mahatma Gandhi willing to die for, to complete the arduous journey, stand at the pinnacle of success, look down upon the world and then close their eyes to see the clouds disperse and the moon set in such a tranquil moment? There will be moments in life when fate knocks us down, but whether to stand up, continue moving forward, take up arms and keep fighting, or to lie there waiting for death, to stubbornly remain there, is a choice we make. To stand up and pick up the divine sword to continue the fight, one must always remember deep in the mind and soul the reason for not giving up. That reason must be something one is willing to die for. As a man of great courage, regardless of the difficulties and dangers, when it's time to fight, one must fight. When it's time to win, one must win. One must always understand that being a man means being steadfast and unyielding, valuing the life that the heavens have bestowed, understanding that living requires more courage than dying. But one must discover something worth being ready to die for. Once found, it becomes easier to use it as motivation to stand firm against the storms of life to pass through the fires of the mortal world, to cross the gates of hell, despite the devil chasing after one with all he has. Then one will realize that their strength is not as far from their opponents as they thought. And gradually, bit by bit, one will defeat the eighteen lords of the underworld to continue living and to tell about how that time of smoke and fire forged them. Pride, loneliness, anger, greed, power protection, love, redemption, freedom, justice, dreams. You will get to choose these things. The world we live in is a vast universe and each of us is a small planet orbiting around it. The seven billion of us are seven billion different personalities. No two people are more than 50% alike. Even parents and children, siblings are all the same. I have my own reasons to live in this world full of sorrows but also full of joys and happiness. And obviously what I am willing to die for is different from what you are willing to die for. But I just want to say, to have a life that is truly worth living, truly meaningful, one must know what that truly worth living life is, what that truly meaningful life is. When you know what you are willing to die for, only then can you fully live your life as someone worthy of the life that God has given you. There is a simple obvious truth but few understand. To truly understand life, one also needs to understand death. Douglas MacArthur, Ernest Hemingway, Mahatma Gandhi, reached that level. Hence they became famous, lived a life of brilliant glory, and they had no regrets. Very few of us will reach the level of genius in science or art like those three. Also, very few of us will make history like those three. Maturing is when we realize that life is inherently not easy. To mature is to cherish what we have. We must endure the noise to appreciate the simple silences of everyday life. Endure sorrow and suffering to understand the value of happiness. Life thrusts us into the cruel world of money so we can realize that, in this life, the most important things are not necessarily money or status, but without them, life is also not simple. Then suddenly, one day looking around, we are startled to realize money can always be earned, but the time spent with family cannot be reclaimed. Life continues to challenge us with countless adversities, both laughable and tearful, to make us realize that even in despair, hope always sprouts. And it's only when we lose something very important that we truly learn to appreciate its existence. Maturity also grows from such thoughts feeling life's contradictions and paradoxes, yet ultimately, it maintains a balance. Maturing is to love oneself more and learn to let go. We often get trapped in the maze of life amidst different choices between holding on and letting go. Some say, hold on to each other whenever possible. Life is full of risks. And it's not entirely true, but also not wrong. In love, no one knows for sure what will happen to the two individuals. But in the present, as long as both have heart and faith, it becomes a bond to hold on to or even if only one person tries to hold on that love still holds hope. But the problem is, love is a wound that never heals. 
because there are many ways to suffer in love. There are many ways. Loving one person hurts in one way, loving another hurts differently. That's life. If there are thoughts that always make us feel pain and people who bring more trouble than joy, then allow yourself to let go for peace of mind. Life pushes us towards countless choices because that's how life temper us to gradually mature from our pains and become more decisive and stronger each day. Not to learn to rot away with lingering sorrows. Maturing is knowing how to accept and smile in the face of difficulties. We spend our whole lives searching for answers for ourselves. We often say, everything happens for a reason, but no one can fully understand what that reason might be. People spend their youth wondering where they will go, only to spend their old age pondering where they came from. Perhaps the best part of this journey in search of answers is that we will never be alone. Life allows us to meet many people for various reasons. Some come to test us. Others try to take advantage of us. We will also meet people who make us love and commit for a lifetime. And some passers-by will leave us valuable lessons. Whatever their purpose, always be thankful, because they make our lives much more interesting. It's true that everything happens for a reason, but everything is also relative. So, there will be times when we can't find a valid reason for ourselves. And sometimes the answer we're looking for lies in a smile and a nod of acceptance, because it is so. Life, when you think about it, is indeed astonishingly strange, and so is the process of each person's maturation. Often we think we have understood quite a bit of everything, but in reality we're not even sure if we know. Or maybe everything just proves that we still don't really understand anything at all. It's also impossible to know whether the layers of experience have been peeled to their core, but then people can mature day by day precisely because life is inherently not easy. Life offers countless ways to live. Choose the one that suits you best. In the intricate tapestry of existence, life unfurls a myriad of paths, each beckoning with its unique allure. It's a canvas vast and varied, where every individual paints their own masterpiece of living. Some embrace a life of serene detachment, floating above the fray of worldly concerns, while others plunge into the depths of engagement, their hearts beating in rhythm with life's pulsating challenges. Then there are the audacious souls, those who dare to dance with risk, their passions igniting the way. Yet amidst this splendid diversity, a singular truth resonates with profound clarity. The quintessence of existence is to live authentically, to honor the self that breathes within. This journey of self-discovery and personal fulfillment is not a quest for the faint-hearted. It demands courage, the courage to embrace your desires, to indulge in the comforts that whisper to your soul, and to invest in the joys that paint your days with the hues of happiness. For in this pursuit lies the secret to a life well lived, a life that, when the twilight of years gently descends, can be reminisced with a heart brimming with contentment and a smile that reflects a journey cherished. In our modern whirlwind of existence, where the cacophony of demands and expectations often drowns out the inner voice, this wisdom holds the key to tranquility. It's a call to pause, to listen, and to choose with intention. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Let this be a guiding beacon urging us to seize the essence of life, to live not by the scripts written by others, but by the authentic narrative that resonates within our own being. So as you navigate the currents of life, remember that the art of living is not in conforming to the myriad external molds, but in sculpting a life that is genuinely yours. It's about finding that unique rhythm that makes your heart sing, embracing the joys that resonate with your spirit, and crafting a legacy that is not just a mere existence but a testament to a life passionately and authentically lived. When you trust, you will find your own path. The world in its vast complexity can sometimes feel like a labyrinth leaving us cautious with every step, wary of the unknown paths that lie ahead. Yet, it's in these moments of doubt and introspection that a profound truth emerges. When we trust in ourselves, we unlock the door to our own unique journey. Trust is not merely a word. It's a beacon that guides you through the tumultuous seas of life. It's about closing our eyes for a moment, taking a deep breath and listening to the whispers of our heart. 
It's about finding that inner compass that points towards a goal, a purpose so compelling that it ignites a fire within, propelling us to march forward, even when the terrain is rough and the skies are overcast. And as we embark on this journey, fueled by trust, the world, in its mysterious ways, begins to align, revealing pathways that were once hidden, guiding us towards our destiny. However, the road to self-discovery and fulfillment is not devoid of challenges. It's a path riddled with obstacles, each serving as a crucible, forging our character and molding our resolve. These trials, though daunting, are not there to deter us but to strengthen our spirit, to build our resilience so that when we do find our true path, we are unwavering, fortified by the battles we've endured. In this odyssey, it's essential to remember that our struggles are ours to bear. The pain, the tears, and the silent battles we fight are not always for the world to see or understand. The solace we seek often lies within, in the quiet acceptance of our journey, in the realization that the hardships we face are but chapters in our grand story, each with its own lesson, each with its own purpose. And as time gently heals and fades these scars, the rewards of our perseverance begin to surface painting our lives with strokes of wisdom, resilience, and profound strength. So, to those standing at the precipice of doubt, to those searching for a beacon in the dark, remember this. Trust is your ally, your guide, and your companion. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it lead you to the path that is uniquely yours. For in this journey of life, it's not just about finding something to live and die for, but about discovering the strength, the courage, and the unwavering spirit to walk the path that is meant for you. And in this discovery, you'll find not just a purpose, but a legacy, a testament to the enduring power of trust and the indomitable human spirit. Live as yourself and life will have no regrets. Live as yourself and life will harbor no regrets. This mantra serves as a beacon guiding us through the tumultuous seas of existence, reminding us that every experience we encounter is a precious gem in the treasury of our life's journey. Each stumble, each fall is not a setback but a stepping stone, a hidden lesson intricately woven into the fabric of our being. It's through these trials and tribulations that the virtue of resilience is forged and the strength of character is honed. Consider the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who once said, "Life." if well lived, is long enough. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of our discourse today. Life in its purest form demands simplicity in the thought and clarity in action. It's a dance with the inevitable, an acceptance that what will come, will come, and cannot be evaded. Yet, within this dance lies the secret to a life of abundance and fulfillment. When you embrace your authentic self, Living each moment with happiness and joy, life transcends the mundane and becomes a masterpiece of your own making. But how does one live authentically? How do we peel off the layers of pretense and stand in our truth? The answer lies in the purity of our intentions and the sincerity of our actions. To cultivate trust and forge genuine connections, we must first be honest. Honesty is the soil from which authenticity blossoms. It's about being transparent, letting your true self shine through without the masks and facades that society often demands we wear. And to be honest, one must be genuine. Authenticity is not a garment to be worn and discarded at convenience. It is the very essence of our being, the core from which our thoughts and actions should emanate. Being genuine means embracing your flaws and imperfections, Acknowledging your strengths and virtues and navigating through life with a heart full of courage and a spirit unswayed by external validations. It's about being true to yourself, honoring your values, and living in alignment with your deepest convictions. When you stand firmly in your truth, life unfolds in the most miraculous ways. Opportunities blossom, relationships deepen, and the world opens up in ways you never imagined. As Marcus Aurelius, another great Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, let us cultivate thoughts that are pure, intentions that are noble, and actions that are authentic. Let us strip away the unnecessary, embrace the essential, 
and live in a way that, when we look back on the tapestry of our lives, we see not a tangled web of regrets and what-ifs, but a beautiful mosaic of moments lived fully, passionately, and authentically. So, my dear listener, as we journey through this life, let us remember that the less we want, the more we have. Let us seek not the abundance of possessions, but the richness of experiences. Let us not chase after the fleeting shadows of material desires, but instead let us pursue the enduring light of inner peace and contentment. For in living as ourselves, in embracing the simplicity of being, we discover the true abundance that life has to offer. Don't let your life be dictated by the words of others. In the intricate tapestry of life, it's paramount to recognize that the narrative of your existence shouldn't be woven by the hands of others. There's a profound truth in the adage, even gold isn't pure, and no person is perfect. This world, with its myriad complexities, doesn't lend itself to the simplicity of pleasing everyone. In your journey, you'll encounter souls who will cherish you, others who will disdain you, some who will extol your virtues and others who will disparage you with their words. It's essential to internalize that the power of speech belongs to others, and gossip is merely the currency of the world's discourse. Striving to control it is as futile as trying to grasp the wind. It's not the barometer of your worth or the scale upon which your character should be measured. Heed the wisdom of the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, who said, it never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. In this light, anchor yourself in self-trust and self-belief. Live a life that's upright and pure. A life where integrity isn't just a concept, but the very essence of your being. In doing so, you render yourself impervious to the baseless slander and the fleeting praise alike. In our modern world where the cacophony of opinions is amplified by technology, it's even more crucial to cultivate this inner sanctuary of self-assurance. Remember, the only validation that truly matters is the one that resonates from within. So, as you navigate through the ebbs and flows of existence, let your actions be guided by the compass of your own values and principles. In this steadfastness, you'll find not just peace, but a life that's rich with purpose and meaning, a life truly worth living and, indeed, worth dying for. With a joyful heart, your eyes will see the sunshine. In the tapestry of life, each day is a delicate thread, contributing to the grand design of our existence. Clinging to the shadows of yesterday's worries only obscures the luminous possibilities of today. It's essential to recognize that some burdens are meant to be released, allowing us to blossom and thrive. Life's trials, whether monumental or minute, demand our courage and accountability, urging us not to cast our responsibilities onto others, but to embrace them with fortitude. The pursuit of excessively lofty expectations often paves the way to disillusionment. There's profound wisdom in understanding that detachment isn't synonymous with defeat. The act of holding onto memories or people doesn't guarantee joy. Sometimes, it's the root of our unrest. Nurturing one's spirit and embracing simplicity can unravel the complexities of life, guiding us to discover genuine contentment in our unique journey, rather than exhausting ourselves in the pursuit of paths laid out by others. Consider the story of the mighty oak tree, which, before becoming a towering giant, was merely a humble acorn. It didn't rush its growth or envy the trees around it. Instead, it patiently absorbed the sun's warmth, the soil's nutrients, and the rain's hydration. Over time, it grew strong and sturdy, not because it chased after the forest's approval, but because it focused on its own growth at its own pace. In conclusion, the lesson for our audience is clear. Embrace each day with a heart full of joy and let your eyes be open to the sunshine of possibilities. Release the burdens of yesterday to make room for the growth of tomorrow. Take responsibility for your life's journey, understanding that true happiness and fulfillment come from cultivating your inner world and following your unique path, not someone else's map. Like the oak tree, grow at your own pace and in time, you will stand tall and strong 
deeply rooted in the richness of your own journey. In our journey through the vast tapestry of life, we've explored the profound depths of human existence, pondering the essence of our being and the purpose that propels us forward. We've navigated through the complexities of life, seeking the shores of meaning and purpose, understanding that each of us, like a unique star in the cosmos, is here to shine our own distinct light. As we conclude today's exploration on Stoic in your life, remember that the quest for a life worth living is not a solitary journey. It's a shared voyage, where each story, each insight, and each revelation adds to the collective wisdom of our community. Your reflections, your struggles, and your triumphs enrich our collective understanding and guide us closer to the answers we seek. So, as we part ways today, I invite you to not just passively absorb the insights shared, but to actively engage with our growing community. Like the video if it resonated with your soul. Share it to spread the wisdom of Stoicism and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life to join us on this enlightening journey. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, ensuring you never miss the opportunity to deepen your understanding and strengthen your resolve. Together, let's continue to explore, to question, and to live with purpose. For it is in seeking that we find, in questioning that we understand, and in living with intention that we truly embrace the Stoic way. Until next time, embrace the flow of life with a Stoic heart, and remember, in the grand tapestry of existence, your thread is crucial, your story is important, and your journey is uniquely yours. Thank you for being a part of today's journey on Stoic in your life. Stay strong, stay wise, and may your path always lead you to the wisdom of the Stoics.